What places and people come to mind? The Metropolitan Opera in New York, maybe Milan in Italy, Placido Domingo or Luciano Pavarotti. There's opera in a lot of unusual places as well, sung by ordinary folk. ABC's John McKenzie has discovered one of them. The folks around Surrey, Maine, as you'd expect, are a rugged independent sort. You can find them cutting up pinewood by a forest or serving up meals at a local diner. There you go. Some are busy nursing animals back to health or farming mussels from the sea. This is what people around here do for a living. Now wait till you hear what they do for fun. Meet the Surrey Opera Company. Three years ago, some of these people could barely carry a tune in the shower. Now they're singing Mozart on the stage. Soprano, let me get that note without sliding up to it. The person responsible for all this is 61-year-old Walter Nowak, a classical pianist Noah convinced his neighbors that singing opera could teach them something about each other and about the world around them. You learn that you have to be in unity and you have to be in harmony. When you sing together, there is no competition. You're singing together to create something. Anyone is welcome to join this company, and more than 80 people have, practicing twice a week in Noah's barn. Here he teaches young and old alike not only to sing, but to sing in German and Russian and Italian. I was probably the world's shyest person. And the singing has been wonderful. That just goes away. You just get up and you sing, and it just feels terrific. Paul Brayton is now a proud bass in Surrey's Opera Company. I really didn't like opera at all before I started singing. Never, I never even, even, even wanted to go to one. And what happened? Well, all of a sudden, I found it's kind of interesting. It has changed my life in, this, in the sense that I, that I have the outlet. Here, I have the opportunity to sing. I am singing roles like the greatest tenor in the world is singing. These singers are now so accomplished and so proud of their music that they've given more than 30 performances, paying their own way from Surrey to the Soviet Union. They have come a long way. Just as Noah had promised, music has opened up a whole new horizon for folks here. The Surrey Opera Company might never make it to Broadway or to La Scala. But as the song says, John McKenzie, ABC News, Surrey, Maine.